Sure. How about money? Shall we hit him up? All right. Let's hit him up for some from some cash. Right. Let's take a let, let, a now word from our sponsor. I got a hundred. I I uh, deposited. Don't tell me. Don't say how much D Medic gave me. Okay. Fred doesn't want that publicized. Um, I, I deposited a check in my bank account today, and I found out I've got sixteen hundred dollars in my bank account. So, because I've got like a thousand dollars a month in credit card bills. Yeah, we'll see how. We'll see how. I mean, I don't want to get. You got two to, checks there. I got two checks. So I got one hundred forty-six dollars. Okay, got, now you just. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, folks, well, I really don't want to go back to dancing. <laughs> like, like. You know, there's that club at the end of Robertson, you know, near Venice. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, and I don't want to work there anymore. I just find it so degrading. Okay, good. The D Medic laughed at that. So he I just, okay. I, okay. It's just like, I'm really tired of doing this for like, you know, bachelorette parties. And I, I'm tired of jumping out of cakes. I'm tired of being exploited. I'm tired of like playing firemen and police officers and. Right, you know, and the the whole shebang from the village people. Yeah, and those like sorority cowboy, parties are really yeah, humility, humiliating. I am so tired. I do not want to go back to dancing. I thought I'm going to place my trust in Hashem. I'm just going to study Torah all day and teach Torah, and Hashem will provide. So. And, he, and he came. He came through tonight. Look at that. Came through. Look at this. You, you, you know, you want to like do your Torah talks with perhaps You figure, okay, this is a waste of my time. I should be go out and make it. Making a living. You should be dancing. You should be dancing. You know, sorority you come, over your come over to my house. The guy does nothing except tell stupid, dumb stories, right? Does Give Ray Torah. No, yeah, whatever, right? You know, like, let's be honest here. What does the guy, what does the guy add to this show? He just sits there, you know, tells us about, like, you know. His, I hate you know, women. <laughs> he hates women, and he tells us about his, uh, his sexual encounters for the last five years, right? And for that, I hand the guy two checks. <laughs> Thank Baruch you. Hashem. And the guy's like, okay. And then we go back to fighting for the rest of the month. <laughs> but the thing is, He's got to keep coming back if he wants those checks, right? So, by the way, by the way, one of the people who, who gave you uh, the, one of those checks, it's not D-Medic, it's the other one that I had you? Mm -hmm. The person said, just be yourself. They're paying you to be yourself. I said, I don't ever want to tell him that. Oh, they want me to be myself. <laughs> they want you to be yourself. Oh, okay, well then let me tell you how it really is. <laughs> so I've been holding back for the last 45 minutes, like, thinking, oh, the rabbi, he doesn't like my sex stories. And, you know, this is a Torah show, I really shouldn't you know, engage in nibble, nibble pet. No, is that the yeah, way? you get two minutes. Go ahead. You know, shoot engage your wad. Go for it. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't engage in any you know slutty, uh, yeah. slutty talk. But I had my own Anthony Weiner moment, and uh, um, this woman solicited the peck from me. This was uh, twelve years ago. Like it was Tisha B'Av. It was breaking the Tisha B'Av fast. I was at this fine kosher establishment. This woman I knew was a few years older. She said, "Hey, you know, I got this woman and." She told me, I'm just looking for someone to tell me I'm pretty. Right. And to hold me. So she immediately thought of me. So. Speed the story up. So she set me up with this woman, and, uh, and uh, we're, we're, I'm chatting with this woman on AOL, and. Uh, Speed she, it up. She says to me, Hey, you're a breast man. So I'm thinking, I'm a Torah man. <laughs> but I say, You know, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I say, Yeah. And so she sends me a picture of her in a low cut top. And I thought, Nice, and then she said, "Send me a picture of your car." It's like, "Hush, for sure." Please, I'm a torrent. That's like, totally. That's totally out. I don't. How do you like, know? How do you know it was a woman? It could have been an FBI agent. You know, I, could, I like, could tell. It or it could have been like an eight-year-old kid. I got like movie. intuition. <laughs> and All right. and I said, "No way!" Like, I'm not going to shame, degrade my conversion to Orthodox Judaism. The only place for this kind of, you know, exchange is within marriage. And then she said, "Show it to me." So I said. Oh, I do have a digital camera, and but I said I'm not going to show you it unsheathed. You know that'd be unholy. I'll just like, you no, know, I'll leave my shorts on, and you can just. Oh, like, that's just like Wiener. Yeah, this can, one must have hit home. You can see the outline. Oh my God, this is just like you Wiener. You can see the outline. Okay. And so I took the photo, and then I had to upload it to my computer, and then I had to email it to her, and like this could come back to haunt me if I run for political office. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like after we. Hooked up a few times, she said, Oh, I want you to get an HIV test. And I said, Okay, so I went and like, showed out 75 bucks. That's a sore spot for the two of us. I, I, I showed out 75 bucks, <laughs> and of course I was negative, uh -huh. and, but she never had sex with me again, so like, I feel totally ripped off. <laughs> she should have to pay for the test. Exactly, she offered to. She said she would, but then I did it, and 
I didn't want to say, hey, now, you know, 75 bucks, but... So, let that story be a warning to you kids, because it's so easy So it's to, so important. So easy to stop <laughs> sending off text, you know, pictures of your private parts, and it's really, it's humiliating. You know what, you know what bothered me about that?